Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So today we have Friday, one day before the weekend. So the last day of the CMEs is trading today. Let's see what's going on today and what surprise will come during the weekend. Because in my opinion, we are coming into a very interesting time where we might see some play time during the weekend. And in this episode, we're going to, of course, analyze the Bitcoin price as usual. And afterwards, I'm going to show you an altcoin that maybe is about to pump next. So if you want to multiply a little bit your Bitcoins, then definitely check out the altcoin that we're going to analyze later. The people that are in the Discord trading chat, they already know what kind of altcoin I'm talking about. And at the end, we're also going to have a quick update on the stock to flow model because it's, uh, I think, a long time that we didn't check out the stock to flow model. So we can have there an update quickly. So let's start right now with the one hour time frame here on the Bitcoin price. So yesterday, after trying to push it through $12,000, we were in this potential rising wedge, which is a bearish pattern, which tends to break out to the downside. Also, at the same time, we had here a bearish divergence in the one hour time frame based on the higher high in the price and the lower high in the RSI. But during bull trends and during a bull run, usually these bearish patterns don't play out that well. So I wouldn't try to play out bearish patterns in an uptrend. Better take it as an opportunity to start to scale in long positions or to buy in some cheaper Bitcoin or altcoin that you're interested in. So during a bull trend, you should try to catch the dips and not trying to sell the tops because this could be very, very dangerous for the long term. So make sure that during an uptrend, you're looking to buy the dips and not vice versa because the trend is your friend till the end. So of course, at the end, we're going to see a blow off top or we're going to start to lose support but currently we are still on our way towards our bullish targets in my opinion potentially to 16 or even 30 thousand dollar that doesn't mean that we have to go straight up there but on the way we of course gonna have some pullbacks and those pullbacks you definitely want to take it as an opportunity to buy in or start to scale in long positions if you're trading with leverage for example over on Bybit or Femex. So here in the one hour, you can see that this rising wedge already played out, but the performance wasn't great. We already got here support at the first support level here at $11,600. And currently we're again closing one hour candles above the 20 moving average. You can also see that the RSI currently bounced from the 50 level, which is a very bullish sign. And also, if we have a look here on the Bollinger Band, you can see that after touching here the bottom, we immediately retrace back up. And right now we are again trading in the bullish side. So here we could trade in theory between 11,830, even up to $11,900. So if you're looking for a good long position, maybe this is the right opportunity. We also have currently the stochastic oversold and now back again shifted to the upside. MACD is still shifted to the downside, so watch out here for a bullish cross. That could indicate that we're going to again test here this $12,000. And now we can switch over to the 4-hour time frame. Here you can see clearly the 20 moving average at $11,630 right at our new support line, which currently is perfectly lining up. And as long as we are closing four hour candles above this price level, we should be on our way towards to the upside and potentially also break this 12K pretty soon. Because after breaking out here to the downside from this potential rising wedge here, which already played out, it looks like that we are forming another potential ascending triangle, which is a bullish sign. And this should shoot us straight towards 12,000 and higher. Down below, you can see here an indicator that I'm using to benchmark my technical analysis and right now here in the four hour it looks like that we are a bit overbought here and we should expect here potential correction to the downside towards our support here of $11,600. The thing is that if we would do so we would also lose our support here at $11,750 that we are building up here so in case that you're watching for a good long entry then maybe watch out here for $11,640 if we're coming down to test the 20 moving average in a four hour, this could be a good long opportunity. 
And if we swap over into the Bollinger Band in the 4 hour, here also you can see that currently we're still trading in the upper area, which is a very bullish sign. Stochastic is here overbought, now shifted to the downside. This could indicate a potential fall towards $11,600 towards the midline of the Bollinger Band. And also the MACD is still shifted to the upside, but could have here a bearish cross pretty soon. So if we're not able to shoot straight above $12,000 in the next couple of hours, then and watch out for a possible correction down to 11,640 and take it as a good long or buy opportunity in case that we're going to retest down this area. And now let's go over to the daily time frame. Even here, it looks like that we could have here a potential breakout through our strong resistance here of $12,000. But of course, also here a pullback towards $11,600, even down to the 20 daily moving average, which currently is at $10,800 is possible. And that's why guys watch out for this weekend's action, because in my opinion, if we're going to have a similar candle like this one here, last weekend we may be gonna go down to test here this level and you definitely don't want to miss out this buy and long opportunity because weekends is always play time and i think in the next couple of weekends as long as we are trading here towards these targets that we have 16 to even 30 thousand we're gonna have during the weekend potential liquidation and stop out hunts here so it is possible that we're gonna have another little crash here maybe to retest here the 20 daily and then come straight back up again again so then on mondays we're gonna start to trade again where we close the cmes on friday so i'm watching out today where we're gonna close the cmes and of course although during the weekend what will happen because in case that we're gonna have a major dump during the weekend then take it as an opportunity never panic sell during the weekends always try to get these potential flash crashes that sometimes can happen during weekends or sometimes also during the night time and here in the daily you can also see that we're gonna have here a bearish divergence if we are going to close today above eleven thousand eight hundred twenty dollars so above this price here because in that case we would have a higher high in the price and in the rsi we would have a lower high so let's see if this potential bearish divergence is going to play out because in that case we would see this potential flash crash but therefore we have to wait for this confirmation so we have to wait where we're gonna close today here in my benchmark indicator you can see that we have a green dot so that would mean that this should be a good long entry but you want to see this blue field here in the oversold area so down below here and not here on the top to find the perfect buy opportunity like we had over here so of course we are expecting here potential breakout to the upside so breaking 12,000 but before that we could see potentially also a pullback or a major correction because we have several warning signs that indicate that we could see such short-lived dump and now let's have a look also into the Bollinger Band in the daily because in this time frame it is still looking very bullish we are trading here in the upper area and also after retracing and retesting here this moving average we bounced immediately back up and also now in theory we could easily go up here to test the $12,500 top here in the Bollinger Band. You can also see that the stochastic had a bullish cross. There is a very high chance that we could go up from here and also MACD still shifted to the upside. So the daily time frame is still looking good and I'm expecting a potential breakout from $12,000 even today before we're closing the CMEs. That would be a very bullish sign for also the next week. But but be very careful even though we could break twelve thousand dollar during the weekend we often see big pumps or dumps then immediately revert back to where the cme closed so we're gonna have a look today where the cmes are gonna close because currently also on this chart you can see that we are fighting here this twelve thousand dollar level and hopefully we are able to break through in the next couple of hours and remember you're still not too late to buy bitcoin or altcoins even though we already pumped a lot we are still in early stages and currently if you want to profit and multiply your bitcoins even more you can of course buy directly bitcoin and then for example go long on exchanges like bybit or femex or if you have tether also on bityard and like this multiply your bitcoin 
but you can also pick up some altcoins that so far didn't have an explosion like we had for example on Band or Bancor, Chainlink. So there are still some coins that are lagging behind and if they are exploding, they will most likely outperform Bitcoin. So if you're entering into those altcoins, if you're picking the right one, and they're gonna explode and outperform Bitcoin, you can swap it over back into Bitcoin and like this you would have multiplied your Bitcoin. So for example, if a coin like Band Protocol, like it performed in the last couple of days, this coin outperformed Bitcoin for about 50%. So this is like you would buy Bitcoin with a 50% discount. So that's why it is very useful if you're picking right now the good altcoins that are still lagging behind which most likely will outperform Bitcoin in the next big moves. And like this, you can multiply your Bitcoin easily. The only problem is to pick up and analyze the right coins which are about to pump. So that's why it is very important that you sign up also in our Discord trading chat. We are always talking about altcoins as well. And of course, also subscribe here to the channel, Alessandro the Crypto. We do daily TA videos. And also if you want me to analyze any kind of altcoins, coin that you want you can put it down below here in the comment section and now we are coming to the next part of our video today EOS this coin was about to pump yesterday we covered this in our discord trading chat even me I have bought some EOS and as you can see right now we are seeing here this breakout and this coin is still lagging behind way more than ethereum litecoin and xrp for example i'm expecting also those coins to have an explosion pretty soon but eos so far didn't have any kind of pump so this coin still have a lot of potential here for a big move to the upside and most likely outperform Bitcoin if we're able to break $12,000 on Bitcoin. So I think it's still not too late to go long here or buy some EOS before we're gonna have the big play out of this move. It's still in early stages. So this is the next altcoin that most likely is gonna pump quite hard here. Not maybe like Band Protocol or Bancor because those are DeFi projects, but EOS, XRP, Litecoin, Ethereum are one of the top coiners which in my opinion also gonna benefit a lot during the next move to the upside. So you definitely want to long or buy some more of these, especially if you plan to swap it over later back into Bitcoin to multiply your Bitcoin. And now for the end of the video, we're gonna have a quick look on the stock to flow model because currently we are still respecting here the stock to flow price model. And as you can see, we are matching perfectly right now with the price that we should be here in this model. It's at around $12,000. And based on this model, we should reach my first bullish target towards October. So $16,000 is, in my opinion, the next bullish target here before we will see any kind of major correction and then potentially break the all time high in November. So during the next two months, I think we're going to go slowly towards 16K. And of course, the best thing would be if during these two months, we're going to have a correction down towards 10k to retest the old resistance which now should be new support close the cme gap at nine thousand six hundred dollar and then continue our way towards sixteen thousand dollar but if till then we didn't see this major correction then most likely my opinion we're gonna see something like a flash crash after sixteen thousand dollar because if we go over into the weekly time frame and if we would do a fibonacci retracement based from the bottom that we had here at three thousand nine hundred dollar and if we would top out with this move here at around sixteen thousand three hundred dollar we would have here the 0.618 fib line exactly at eight thousand seven hundred dollar which would also coincide here with the previous resistance which now should be the new support so in theory we could have a correction down here between the 0.5 and 0.618 fib line so between eight thousand seven hundred and ten thousand dollar that would match perfectly with a major correction and also with the cme gap feeling after reaching here sixteen thousand dollars so this is why my opinion if we're not going down to close this gap down yet at $9,600, then most likely we will fall down there once we're gonna top out with this bull run that we are having right now. And as I told you also yesterday, most likely because we 
we are breaking right now significant resistances we're also going to take out this high at 14,000 that we had and at the same time create a higher high which we should see in the very close future because higher highs and higher lows are typical during a bull run and we are still in early stages this is just the first target that we're gonna reach before maybe we're gonna have a major correction and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget if you want to trade over on bybit femex where you can also trade gold with your cryptos or btr if you want to trade with your tether then make sure to use the links that you find down below here in the video description with my links you can get some sign up bonus and also you support the channel also you're very welcome to join our free trading chat on discord here is the link is completely for free everyone is welcome and if you have twitch you can also follow me over on twitch with the live streams and just a reminder i still have some slots free to get some free cryptos over on coinbase so if you have coinbase you can use the links here to coinbase earn where you can claim for free ten dollar worth of stellar or cheat and eos so thank you very much for watching my friends moon up the like subscribe to the channel and we we'll see us all in the next time take care my friends bye